for the special government operations and oversight committee meeting on Monday, April 17th, 2023 at 5.01. Roll call, please. Alderman Florian. Present. Alderman Bolton. Alderman Newsom. Present. Alderman Rivera. Present. And Alderman Turner. Present. You have a quorum. Thank you. Are there any public comments? Yes, thank you. Okay, Madam Clerk. Janet Kilkelly, City Clerk, speaking today in reference to the salary ordinance for elected officials on your agenda. I'm here to advocate for this office holder following the next election cycle and beyond. What you decide today does not affect my salary compensation as it is frozen during my term. This position is a department head for the city of Waukegan elected by the community. As you are aware, the compensation for the city clerk has not been evaluated since 2012. This current compensation posted is 20% less than the next lowest paid department head for the city of Waukegan. Say it again, Jen. Please repeat that. Yes. This current compensation is the one that is posted is 20% less than the next lowest paid department head for the city of Waukegan. Last month, I did a city clerk compensation presentation to all of you aldermen and also followed up with emails for any questions or queries. All appeared to be in agreement that it was time to address the disparity in pay. What is currently posted on Appendix A is not what was proposed and is frankly an insult to salary range integrity and fairness. I ask that the salary ordinance be amended and supported to reflect the amount submitted as previously stated per the compensation presentation. Another item, the alderman's expense account next cycle will increase 33%, but not the city clerk's expense account. The city clerk represents all wards, not one. And it is so important to use this money in the community. These monies help our nonprofits, and the amount I put in for the amended expense account reflects 33%. For example, today I paid for an ad in AAUW. Last week was an ad for Waukegan High School class of 1968. And then on Friday, I'll be attending the University Center's inaugural fundraiser. Finally, my appreciation to you today for taking the time to address this disparity in compensation for the future by amending it and thus taking it out of the political minefield. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Um, I need a first and second motion to approve the minutes of the Government Operations and Oversight Committee meeting held on April 3rd, 2023. I'll first, second. Any questions regarding that? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, item two, new business. I need a first and second motion to approve a settlement and release of all claims for police department workers' compensation claim number 221031W021 in an amount not to exceed $22,754.84. Motion. I'll second. Thank you, gentlemen. Any questions to this motion? Roll call, please. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Turner? Aye. And Alderman Florian? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Item B, I need a first and second motion to approve, an, approve ordinance 23-0- amending the salary ordinance and establishing the salary and benefits for employees of the city effective May 1st, 2023. All first. Second. Thank you, gentlemen. Any questions to this motion? Roll call, please. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Rivera? Aye. And Alderman Turner? Aye. The motion passes. Thank you. Item C, I need a first and second motion to approve ordinance 23-0 to be determined, amending the salary ordinance and establishing the salary and benefits for elected officials of the city, effective May 1st, 2023. Can I get a first and second? 
I'll make the motion. I'll second it just so we can Thank get it you. discussed. Any questions to this motion? Yes. Um, where where does the where did the amendment come in? I'm sorry. Which amendment? Uh, the uh, second one. Uh, well, the amendment is changing the, the scale, right? The salaries for the aldermen, the treasurer, the clerk. Everyone but the mayors. Okay. Changed. And we do have a, a schedule. They yes. published so, a schedule. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to really quickly look it up just to make sure it's. Uh, yeah, Alderman. So the schedule. Nothing um, has changed. Appendix A. So of course, as based on the um, the consensus from all of the aldermen in regards to the elected officials, I have May 1, 2025. The clerk's salary, base salary goes up $4,000. The treasurer's salary um, goes up by th uh, $4,000. And May 2027, the alderman salary goes up by $4,000. Okay. All right. And, then the, um, and then the stipends also went the up stipends too. Also went so up. the consensus that I received was it to be equal across the board um, to match what the clerk's um, currently received, which is $400 in a monthly expense account. Um, so the city treasurer and the alderman went from $250 to $400. Okay, thank you. Why wasn't there an increase for the mayor's salary? I did not receive a request for an increase for the mayor's salary. I only focused on those that received, that asked for changes. Any other questions? Well, do we want to talk about the comment from public comment time in regards to the request to amend the clerk's salary? Or are we going to ignore it? Uh, I am in favor of the amendment as explained by Mrs. Kilkelly. It seems logical to me. Again, as she pointed out, <coughs> as has been pointed out, uh, these salary increases, regardless, uh, will not take into effect until the next term for every office. So I would, Sheila, maybe you can help me here. I'd like to make a motion to amend the salary ordinance in accordance with uh, the presentation or request by Madam Clerk for the year 2025. Raising the clerk's base salary to ninety-four thousand, similar cemetery admin stipend by four thousand, and excuse me, elected official stipend sixty-five hundred, for a total of one hundred four thousand five hundred dollars to go into effect in uh, twenty twenty-five. Okay, so the the ordinance as placed on the agenda of the committee included an, an appendix A. The appendix A included a chart which had, oh, sorry, <coughs> salaries for all the elected officials um, going from the current year, tw including uh, starting May 1st, 2023, May 1st, 2024, these corresponding with the city's financial years and uh, extending into May 1st, 2025. The May 1st, 2025 is the first year that the clerk's salary um, would show an increase on the, as proposed, it would show an increase from 80,720 to 84,720. The proposed number is? 94,000. Okay. This is the, um, the base um, would be, in, uh, under the proposal, the, under the proposed amendment from Alderman Turner, the base salary would be increased from 84,720, and the stipends would be um, increased, the elected official um, stipend would be increased to $6,500 from, what is it currently? $4,800. $4, no. 
I don't know if I made that any clearer. <laughs> so, I have a question. I have a question. Go ahead. The question I have is so the, the parking at men would come from under the clerk's office and now you have the cemetery? Well, actually, it's long in coming and changing that. I've never done parking. In six years, I've never done parking. Well, it used to be. But I, yeah. right. But it was but changed. But you took and the $4,000 for it? The ordinance was never changed. But I do do the cemetery. Okay. In fact, started on a pro my project today for the next two years with a volunteer. So, okay. in fact, we had a funeral last week as well. So I was changing it to the cemetery. So which I will stay, stay the same as what you're doing right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you have not received a parking admin stipend at all? Oh, no, I've, I've gotten it because you can't, you can't stop it. Yeah, got you can't stop it. But I've been doing the cemetery all along. I've experienced with the cemetery and I work in conjunction with Mr. Alonzo at the cemetery. Can I speak? Sure. Am I recognized? Sure. Okay. So the, just, just so it's clear, once the ordinance is passed, okay, in the past, it cannot be lowered or raised during that time before the next interim, before the next election, whether it's the alderman or, or, or the uh, other elected officials. Yep, we all so, know that. so when, she, when she got that stipend, that, once that was passed four years previous, she has that for the four, the four years. Okay, there's, there's, no, there's no way to change it. I'm not making it right or wrong, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just explaining. And Thank also you. explain that, okay, the, elect, the elected officials have not had, had an, an increase um, since 2013. And there was no adjustment under young John Sabanjan uh, um, in 20, uh, 29 because we had no fund. So no city employees, nobody, nobody got that. All right, so after that time was over and we were a little bit better financially, it just wasn't put on, okay, that our increase is, just, is, the, is the same as the other city workers. It's 3%, three, it's three percent. and if we had that, we, we wouldn't be here talking about this. It, it, it may not be absolutely right or absolutely the right amount, but, but, it, it, but it would be close. Two, th yep. two thirds, three quarters of, Thank you. Yep. okay, You're and right. we wouldn't have the discussion. I hope that just clears it up a little bit. Thank you. Um, is that also part of this, Tamika, the, the yearly bump? Yes, so. I don't, we didn't really discuss that, but. Yes, section 4A, based on the consensus what I received during the Alderman briefings, um, it states elected officials may receive a 2% annual increase to the base salary. However, should the city experience a financial hardship that impacts city employees, elected officials may not be eligible for an annual increase for that respective fiscal year. Okay. And it goes on to say that those general increases shall prevail for the mayor, clerk, and treasurer effective May 5th of 2025, and for the alderman effective May 3rd of 2027. Okay, thank you. So the, the, the clerk's salary will be going up a, a, a percentage once this passes. Yes. Every, okay, thank you. But not effective not until okay. 2025. Right, right. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I meant once it passes in the new season. So, okay. Alderman Turner, you have a motion on the floor, right? I do. I to do. amend. Yes, motion okay, to amend. Okay, is anyone going to second that? I'll second it to amend so that we can move it to the council for discussion. Okay. Roll call. Oh, just to amend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roll call to amend, right? Yes. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Alderman Rivera? Uh, no. Alderman Florian? No. Alderman Turner? Yes. And Alderman Newsom? Aye. Okay. So, so just that section is amended then? Well, it's two and two. Yeah, the, the, the motion to amend actually fails. Um, so well, wait no. a minute. It's two and two. Oh, oh there we go. No, it's not there. You should stand with the vote as it is. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and finish your statement, please. 
So the, the motion to amend fails. So now you go back to the original motion, okay. which is to make a recommendation on the salary ordinance as, <coughs> uh, as presented. Okay. I'll make that motion. I'll second it again. Uh, roll call. I'd like to make the motion for Steve yeah. Alderman Bolton. All those in favor? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we need a second, don't we, for a motion? Yeah. Someone gonna second that? <laughs> She's on the committee. I, can I second it? Yes. Okay, I'll yes. second it. Yes, a purely procedural, but yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is wacko tonight. Okay. Keep in um, mind, this is only, all you're doing is recommending. This right. is, this okay. is not, we don't kill anything in committee. Yes, <laughs> so we need a roll call to seat Alderman Bolton. Yes. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Alderman Rivera. Aye. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now where are we? I'm lost. Um, we are back <laughs> to the base motion. Okay, we didn't, we never voted on that. The base no. motion to make a recommendation no, on we the- We already voted on that. No. You voted on your amendment. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. so now we're voting on the original pr salary. As presented, as presented in the agenda packet, yes. Okay, am I ready for a roll call or is there more discussion? You need a first and second motion for that. Oh, sorry. Can I'll I have first. a first and second? I'll first. second it. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Any more discussion? I have a question. Can you bring me up to date what changes or alters did we make? <laughs> we didn't make any. We didn't make any alterations. No. So, um, just to and I apologize. I'm just getting off work. So. Oh, no problem. To um, Chairman Florin, would you like me to sure. summarize where we are procedurally? Go for it. Okay. So um, the committee voted to approve the salary ordinance uh, for the employees. We moved on to the ordinance for the elected official salaries, uh, and as presented um, in the packet. Alderman Turner made a motion to amend it to include increases in salary and stipends for the city clerk. That motion to amend was voted on uh, and failed two to two. Um, so we're now back to the base motion, which is to approve, to make a recommendation on the ordinance uh, establishing a salary schedule for elected officials. So that's where we are. Thank you. And there, and there is a first and a second on first that. And a second. Okay. <coughs> Any more discussion? Okay, roll call, please. Okay. Alderman Rivera. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Bolton. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Um, item D. Um, I need a first and second motion to approve resolu a resolution confirming the continued appointment of Elrod Freeman LLP as Corporation Counsel for the City of Waukegan. Oh, I don't know about that. I'll motion. Oh, that's, a, that's a big one. I don't know. You think we should? <laughs> I'll second it. Okay, thank you. I have a first and second. Any questions to this motion? Roll call, please. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Alderman Bolton. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Turner? Enthusiastically, aye. <laughs> Motion passes. Okay, there is no old business or reports or communications, um, so I need a first and second motion to adjourn at 519. I'll first. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 